Hello and welcome to the Export to Web video tutorial. The Export to Web functionality within IMAMAP 5 is actually one of my favourite exports in the product and it's very very easy and quick to implement. We have an example map called Visit Wales which we'll be demonstrating shortly but we're just going to discuss some of the basics before we dive straight in. Okay, when exporting to web, something to be aware of is the power of the notes functionality. If you haven't already done so, have a look at the video tutorial inserting and there will be a little section on inserting notes to your branches. Notes allow us to insert lots of key information behind each keyword which comes in very very handy when presenting, when exporting to web or exporting to a Word document. Also on the topic of inserting, inserting links and images into your mind map really bring your website to life. The main branches in your mind map will become the main menu branches. You also have the option to enable the first ascendant level to become sub branches and I'll show you how we can do that shortly. Okay, let's get stuck in and have a look at a mind map we've created demonstrating the export to web functionality. As mentioned, I have a mind map here named Visit Wales. And as you can see, on first glance, it looks very, very basic and minimal. So we have the central idea, Visit Wales. We have five main branches, people, climate, attractions, history and facts. When I just pan around, as you can see, there are actually quite a lot of notes added to my branches within the mind map. I also have two images, one, two. We're just now going to look at the notes in more detail. So if I click on the musician's note, you can see we have a little bit of text. Famous musicians from Wales include, include Sir Tom Jones and Shirley Bassey. Um, under the bands notes, we have a bulleted list of bands. Under climate, we have lots and lots of text. Mention the climate, and so on and so forth. So by clicking on each of the notes, you can see in the notes panel, we have one word, two words, paragraphs, bulleted lists, links, etc. There's a link here. So the mind map itself contains all the main branches and topic areas and lots of the large information such as paragraphs are inserted as notes within my mind map. I'll show you now how this core combination works fantastically when we export as a website. So if I go to the file option and export, we're going to select export as web. Okay, first of all, we have two templates currently available, sandy and clean. I'm going to click the clean one for the video tutorial. And we have a few options so we can insert the mind map image, the central image, and also navigational depth. Now, navigational depth is one as standard, which only includes your main branches. I'm going to go for two. This will include the main branches as main links and the descendants as sublinks. Now all I have to do is simply click on export. Okay, I'm now going to create a new folder to place my exported website within. And I'll call this web export. Click OK. And my website has been exported. I quickly just check that location. So web export and here is my website that we've just created and exported. I'm going to double click on the index and you can easily see that my website has been exported for me and is shown in my web browser of choice. If I maximize this, here is our exported website. As you can see, all of the notes within our mind map have now been included within the website. And at the top, five main branches from my mind map are now the five main menu options within my website. So people, facts, attractions, history and climate. Any sub branches have now become sub menus. So if I, for example, click on people, I'm now navigated to the people web page, which contains three sub menus, musicians, bands and writers. These are my sub branches and also all of the notes and links I attached.
Hopefully, this video demonstrates how quick and easy it actually is to create a website with an OMI map. What I recommend is you create a new my map and draw four or five main branches on your subject matter. Add lots of notes to expand on those keywords and simply export as a website to bring your content to life.